Virginia with the no-show last night. There were a lot of people. Most of the analysts said Virginia did not belong in the tournament, and they certainly proved that last night. That was <laughs> embarrassing. And, you know, I did a little research here with Virginia. Virginia, since they won the national title in 2019, the Cavaliers are 0-3 in the NCAA tournament. They've lost to a 10 seed and two 13 seeds. Stat of the day, stat of the day, tap, tap. stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? stat of the day. Ah, stat of the day brought to you by Panini America. So they won the title in 2019. It's one thing to be a team that maybe is on the bubble getting in, but they're exciting to watch. Or you're a team that's on the bubble and you get in and you're really, really, really boring to watch. They like to slow it down. That's the way Tony Bennett coaches. That's the way his father coached at Wisconsin Green Bay. And it was a tough watch last night. They, uh, they lose by 25. That's the largest NCAA tournament victory by any Mountain West team. And just the third win of 20 or more points by a Mountain West team in 87 tournament games. So they, uh, they dominated last night, and uh, Colorado State gets the win. They advance. Also, Wagner holds on. Wagner holding on. They did their best. They had a 17-point lead, and uh, they hung on to win. That's their first tournament win in uh, school history as they edged Howard. Tonight, it's Colorado giving two and a half to Boise State, and uh, Grambling is getting four against Montana State. The first four. Also, I have a solution here. I think, here's my suggestion to the NCAA. Are you guys uh, interested in hearing this right now for expanding the tournament? Wow. Okay? Hit, hitting us early. Yes, I am. I'm going to get this out there early. And with a little help from uh, a, a source close to the NCAA. So here it is. If you expand the field beyond 68, we talked about this yesterday. It should ideally expand to 80. Follow me here. This would give each of the four regions a first four. So you would have four 20-team regions. Each of the first four could take place in one of the venues where the Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday games are. That means less travel time for the teams. Easier for fans to travel to one place. And more flexibility regarding timing and the rest of the teams involved. Expanding to 72 or 76 would still leave one or two regions uneven in terms of, you know, the fairness there. But if you go to 80, that makes the most sense. So I'm doing that as a favor to the NCAA tournament. Go to 80. I don't like expanding it, first of all. But if you're going to, then do it where it makes sense for all involved. Each region gets a first four, and then there's less travel. And then when you win your game, you're going to stay, and then you'll play if you win on Wednesday, then you play on Friday, Tuesday you play on Thursday, and then everybody's happy. NCAA gets more teams in there, coaches are happier, we get more basketball, and the NCAA gets some more money. Yeah, Paul? Do you know why this idea is easier to consume? Because you're not taking away the 64-team field. It's like a pre-tournament tournament. tournament. Yeah. So you will still keep the idea of a 16-seed beating a 1-seed. It's now you're playing for the chance to be the 16th seed, which is what's happening right now. So you don't remove, it won't be 96 teams. There will be, you know, no more 16 ones, which we're used to. This prevents that going away. Yeah, it just seems if you do the math, it's very simple. That doesn't mean the NCAA will do it, uh, but they're not going to 96. I was told that. But they're, they are going to expand. The question is, will they do it after this tournament or will it be next year's tournament? And, uh, I'm thinking maybe it's, you know, 80. If you do 80, round number, math works, and everybody will be happy with that. I mean, the first four in in different regions, I think we'll all be okay with that. And then you get into the tournament. You still get into the tournament, and, you know, we don't dampen that. But if you're going to have 80 in there, maybe the math looks good, and maybe that's what the NCAA does. All right, Seton, what's the poll question today? Well, we could start with how much of the first four did you watch last night? Okay. All, a little, or none? I watched, hmm. For some reason, I, I watched Wagner against uh, Howard. I watched more of that. I couldn't watch Virginia. Um, 
I, I like when there's a storyline when, you know, here's a school, Staten Island, and, uh, you know, not I think Danny Hurley got his start at Wagner. Mm. And uh, so I was just curious. My wife is from Staten Island. I'm like, all right, we'll watch Wagner. Uh, she didn't care. But I thought, all right, there's a storyline here. And, uh, you know, even Howard making it an interesting game. So I, I watched more of that. Virginia I tried. They went nine minutes without scoring. That's not good. No. Once again, you can be interesting and maybe not good, but don't be bad and not good. Like, don't be, like, have something there you go. I got to watch that guy. Don't be bad, bad and not good. Yes. Don't be <laughs> bad and, and not interesting, not relevant. And that's what Virginia was last night. And I think they went four and five in their last nine games <laughs> before getting the bid. You know, that, that's one of those where you go, hmm, man. I, I like Tony Bennett, but I don't like watching his team. And you saw that last night. Colorado State dominated them defensively. Yes, Paul? There are teams in sports that are good boring. If You know, we used to goof on the Spurs back in the day because yeah. they were methodical, but they won all the time. Sure. Virginia three years ago, four years ago, five years ago was not exciting, but they were relevant. But I thought that that Virginia team was fun because they had shooters. Like, they had some deep shooters on that team, and that was good enough for me. Uh, you know, they had shooters last night. They didn't have makers. You know, that's the problem. <laughs> and when somebody says, man, he's a great shooter. Wait, does he make it? No. You can be a shooter. I'm a maker. You need makers. Yes. 